because you were in for the Dale Cragen thing and you yeah. were working there with Dale Cragen. What did you think of Dale Cragen? Uh, me, bully. Uh, he was a weak person, you know. I, I'm I'm going to say this now because again, this is this is important. Obviously, the staff had got no liking. We had, or strange ways before my time, had a member of staff who was to do with what happened. Yeah, so they, you know, it was a bad thing. He killed two young girls. He killed the other two guys and he killed two young girls, right? Defenseless. Cowardly. Defenseless. Defenseless. He handed himself in, yeah? 99% of prisoners thought he was a scumbag. Right, listen, I'm going to interject there. Do you know... Why I got Nick for that? No. What did you get Nick for, Marvin? Um, a conspiracy to murder first. Right, okay. And then assisting the offender. Right. Because, see the phone he walked into the police station on? Yeah. That was my mate's dad's phone. He, 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 when he handed he, himself in? Yeah. He, what he'd done, he's gone to someone. Right. This is what's happened. Right. There's a guy in, there's an informant, a paid police informant that lives in Hearn Bay. Right. Yep. He lives on number five. I can't remember the name of the street. Right. So he lives on number five. My pal lives at number four. Coincidence, right? That they live next yeah, to each other. Yeah. Coincidence, right? So, my pal was having a, 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 a farewell meet, um, party for his brother who was going into the army three years, going abroad, um, Iraq or Iran or something like that. And they was giving a farewell party for him on the 19th of this month. I was going down there to do that. So, that was my person in Herm Bay, right? Now, I didn't know that fucking Dale Cregan was seeing people in Herm Bay. Right? Where is um, it that Marvin? I'm not down near Dover. Right, okay. Down near Dover. So basically what's happened was Dale Queen has got a relationship with his geezer, giving him food or drugs or whatever, and his geezer owes him twenty five grand. I didn't know this at all. Anyway, what happened, um Dale Cregan sent Jermaine Ward to look for me in Liverpool and they found out where because my cousin took Jermaine to one of my cousin's friends' houses one time in Liverpool without me knowing because Liverpool is sacred so my family is sacred no one knows where my family live in Liverpool but my cousin took Jermaine round one of the people's houses to get a drawer one day and Jermaine's remembered where this house was so he's come back there to look for me I'm in my cousin's house round the corner just by chance right but it was not chance all written so I'm round my cousin's house having a chat all of a sudden the phone's gone someone's here looking for Marvin what? what do you mean someone's looking for me? What, who is it? Who is it? Ask me who is it? Jermaine. So I thought, Jermaine, that's Lee. Lee, that's Dale. That's Dave. They're Dale's people. Because I met Lee Kelly through a guy called Dave Campbell. Me and Lee and his family come really close after. Like I said, I know Lee Kelly. Yeah, yeah. But we come really close after all this. But, um, well, before all this. Um, but basically, what's happened, um, when Jermaine's turned up, I've instantly thought, well, hold on. Dave owes me 1.6 million quid. Right? He's trying to have me iron that. Jermaine's turned up here. They're trying to wind me out. What's that mean? Kill you? Kill me, yeah. They're trying to get me somewhere to kill me. They've got to be. Why is Jermaine turned up out of the blue when Jermaine was linked to Lee? Right? So Lee, Jermaine and Dale, all friends with Dave. So I'm thinking, wow, they're, they're sending someone to kill me. So I flopped on them and it was only Jermaine there. Um, so I spoke to him and he said, oh, I think he wants to speak to you. I said, for what? He said, oh, something's happened. So I said, what is it that's happened? He said, oh, we'll cut the shootings, cut this, cut that. I won't really pay attention. I said, well, look, if he wants to see me, I'm going to Dover next week or the week after or the week. I can't remember the date, but I'll give him the date, the 19th, we're going to Dover. I've got to go over there. Da, da, da. Cut a very long story short. I met him, um, had a conversation with him, and then he said, I've, I said to him, what's the problem, Dal? He said, oh, I need your help. I said, to do what? He said, getting out of the country. So I was like, is this after the two short shoots? The two shorts, then? yeah, the two shorts, right? So the dad, the dad um, Dave yeah. and um, Mark yeah. short yeah. have been yeah. killed, yeah. right? So now he needs to get out of the country. I was like, mate, do you know what? I'm not in it. I'm not in it. I said, what, what's happened with these two people anyway? Because obviously it weren't that. I don't watch the news and I'm not on the radio and I, I'm not a normal person at that stage of my life. So I'm not looking for bulletins. I'm not listening to the radio. I've I never really heard what was going on in Manchester, right? So then basically when he said to me, oh yeah, well, I shot a couple of geese, I was like, yeah, and? He said, oh, but the police, blah, blah, blah. and then he went, blah, blah, blah. hand grenades. I was like, say that again? He was like, hand grenades. I said, what about hand grenades? He was like, I, I threw a couple of hand grenades. I was like, uh, who? He was like, oh, well, one of the gaff and one of the, I said, are you fucking mad? I said, you know you're a terrorist now, isn't it? He was like, what? I said, do you realize you're a terrorist now? Like that's a terrorist act, bro. Like that's not healthy. Why have you come to me? Like, 
And then I've sort of got paranoid thinking, do you know what? I said, do you know what? Come round here, come round here. Because we were standing on the beach, right? So I said, come round here, come round here. So I've took him into my mate's house. Little did I know that his mate lived next door to my mate. I didn't know that, right? So then basically, I've said to him, look, you're mad. You ain't going nowhere. Fucking hand yourselves in or do something because you're fucked, right? Um, go and see Dave, want to get out of the country. I can't get involved in it. I said, but what I'd advise you to do is let Jermaine go. Because Jermaine's a, it's a liberty what you're doing. He's going to go and get a lump of bird. He ain't done fuck all wrong. You're not just bullying him. Do you know what I mean? Let him go. They was like, well, I said, no, you need to let him go. And when he goes, you need to tell the police that they've bullied you, mate. And they've made you do this. You don't want to be here, do you? You know you're going to get 30 years for this. He's like, I just want to go home. I said, let him go. They said, well, go on then. I said, well, you come with me and go and hand yourself in. But when he handed himself in, he couldn't tell the police what I told him. I told them, just tell them they kidnapped you, they told you that they're going to kill you if they don't do nothing. If you don't do nothing, they're going to shoot your family. You're under duress, you've done it. But he couldn't do it. So he got 36 years, the poor cunt. Did he? Yeah, he got 36 oh, years. Yeah, they all got 30, 36 30 years. plus, 30 I felt, so, plus. I felt sorry for his, his mum. Anyway, because when they've turned up in Liverpool, I'm just thinking that. So then basically what Dow's done, yeah, after I've said, look, I can't help you, I've took Jermaine with me, he's gone and handed him in. Um, Dow's obviously gone back down to Herne Bay to speak to this geezer about his money, right? Because I've got this. Is what got me out of the case because I've got the agreed facts in the case, right? And they said the, the the person couldn't be named, couldn't be prosecuted, and couldn't be blah blah blah. But he confirmed that he owed Dow Cregan twenty five grand. Dow Cregan was there um, to collect this money, right? So he didn't have to go to this because uh, the police's evidence was that we're in the back end of nowhere. And he had no reason to be in Herne Bay but to be with Marvin Herbert. And that was why they arrested me, right? So when, one, when he's finished with his meeting there, he's thought, oh, let me knock on the door. Have you, can you get a message to Marv for me? Oh, we ain't seen him, we ain't seen him. Because my mate says to me, you know your mate not around here? And I was like, for what? So he was just asking him to get older. I said, just don't give him no, nothing. He was like, all right, sweet. But what he'd done, he'd nicked me mate's phone off the side, right? Nick the phone off the side, and all right, yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, with hindsight, now I'm thinking he must have nicked the phone to see if my name is in the contacts. Do you know what I'm saying, sir? But he's nicked the phone anyway, and that's the phone he handed himself in, in the police station. So, when you think about intentions, right? Now, you're going to go and hand yourself in for two murders on police officers. You've already been given the information months ago, right, that you're a terrorist and you're gonna get ironed out on site or you're gonna spend the rest of your life in prison. You've been told that, right, by me, I've told him that, right? You've got a phone in your pocket that you know you've taken from my mate's ass. You know you've took it, you know you've took it from my, you know you've took it from my mate's ass. You fucking know you took it from my mate's ass. So you feel the best thing to do is make a phone call to somebody who knows I don't fucking know while you're walking into the police station to hand yourself in for two murders. Well, four murders now. Oh, four, oh, yeah, yeah. Why would you go into the police station with the phone that connects me to you? Is that set up? Of course, man. From day one, that's what I've said all along, and I've said it to the police. It's a fucking liberty. And you could have got 36 years through that. I could have got more than 36 years because I would have been up as a major player. I would have been... You could have because, got all the life like Krieg and never getting watch out. Watch this, right? Because I was trying to... The, 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 the extradition order said that I was the boss of an organisation that ordered, that ordered the assassination of two people. So I wasn't getting arrested, yeah, for the police officers. I was getting arrested for Dave and um, Mark Shaw, right? And then... And then the police officers happened, I think. I'm not really sure of the chronological order. But yeah, when they, when the, the extradition order was the, for the, no, it was four murders. I was co-conspirator to four murders. And their evidence was between the 1st and the 9th of May, yeah, I came back to England and orchestrated a plan to assassinate Dave and Mark Shaw. That's what they said, right? And it wasn't true. It was, none of it was true. It was all bollocks. all come out in the case, all come out in the paperwork. Um, the moral of that conversation. What was the moral of that conversation then? Or well, just speaking about him being in prison. Yeah. About what, what he was like? like, about being like a coward yeah. and that. So Dal, yeah, Dal has purposefully, from my perspective. Set you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wants to drag he me. Set into lots it. of people up, didn't he? No, listen, do you know how many people got nicked? The, the reason why I got Fucking the hat is the amount of people that got nicked that was coming in. I found the statement about the grass. Because I'm reading everyone's paperwork and I found this statement. What? He's a paid informant. 
he can't be named, can't be um, prosecuted and, and can't be extradited or can't be something for, um, was it he can't be named, can't be prosecuted, can't be named, can't be charged and cannot be prosecuted, right? And he's saying that Dale Cregan, he owed Dale Cregan money and da 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 So all the evidence I had exonerated me because it proved that Dale Cregan was a fucking no-good narcissist cunt that come there, tried to get out Coward. of the way. Yeah, he's... Coward.